About 270,000 Japanese are still living in temporary housing three years after the earthquake and tsunami. The stress of being uprooted has caused some of them to become withdrawn or depressed, especially men. Volunteers are doing what they can to help. More from NHK World's Kazuaki Hirama. These temporary housing units in the city of Miyako, Iwate Prefecture, are home to about 100 evacuees. Recently, a volunteer group organized a series of massage sessions in one of the communal areas. The idea was to give all the residents a chance to interact. However, the only participants were women. The community director had announced that he hoped men would also attend the event. But the men here don't leave their units much, and none showed up. Other events have been organized, such as dinners or karaoke evenings, but none have attracted men. I hope you can join in the massage events sometime. I'd rather just relax at home. It's all women at these events, and being the only man, I'd have nothing to talk to them about. At a recent seminar, one researcher reported that 26 percent of women evacuees say they ease their stress by chatting with others. But only 5 percent of the men do. She also found that male evacuees who have lost their jobs are the most withdrawn, preferring to stay inside doing nothing. For one evacuee in Tokyo, an outlet has come through. Mitsuaki Okura used to run a produce shop in the town of Namie, Fukushima Prefecture. He has no idea if we will ever be able to go back to his store. With no work or purpose, Okura rarely left his room. He just spent his days folding paper cranes out of candy wrappers, drinking to forget his sadness. I miss my home more than anything else. The toughest thing has been not being able to go home. Making the cranes helps me forget. It was volunteer worker Keiko Satani who encouraged Okura to start going out more from his room. In the course of her conversations with Okura, Satani learned that before the disaster, he'd been a keen gardener. He kept talking about how he wanted to grow something, to get his hands in the ground, to become wrapped up in something. The local social welfare council had an empty plot of land near Okura's temporary housing. Satani's team came up with the idea of having Okura and other evacuees <laughs> cultivate the land to grow vegetables. It took Satani six months, but finally she persuaded Okura to get involved. You have to cut the roots before you wash them. Now he's become the leader of the project. It's thanks to Okura the garden has been a success. Okura has even started delivering the vegetables they grow to other evacuees. It's been a slow process, but now some of the male evacuees are starting to find new meaning in their lives, growing hope along with their produce. Kazuaki Hirama, NHK World, Tokyo.